Good afternoon again, Tube of Views. So, I give you the Explorer. This is the one that uh, you guys uh, uh, mentioned. I had mentioned, uh, I think in one of the videos, that Kayla and I went to California to buy a vehicle and take a trip and, and uh, hopefully make another project for ourselves. Well, this happens to be the vehicle that has, at this point in time, carried us from California to here and Las Vegas and everywhere in between and has just been so damn reliable that we haven't taken it apart and we've actually just kept driving it all winter long and all last summer and so on and so forth. Uh, but if uh, you guys will reference that video that uh, where I mentioned this, the idea was to drive this back, pull the drivetrain out, put it into a Ranger so that I could make myself a five liter Ranger, which I've been talking about for years and years and just never have seemed to have gotten done. Unfortunately, things change and uh, Kayla and I need to put some money in some other places and right now we're getting a little bit crowded. So I think, I think we're gonna end up selling it. Um, I think, but time will tell. At the very least, for the moment, um, I've got an issue with it. So we had uh, wheel bearings done actually in Henderson, just outside of Las Vegas. That's where the wheel bearing failed, the one wheel bearing. Uh, and we did both wheel bearings and put a drive shaft in it because that was wiggling. But we knew that there was a ball joint that at some point in time was going to give us troubles. And now, As you can hear, it is squawking. And it's another one of those things that'll just drive you nuts. So, what I'm going to show you, probably in the next video, is the proper way to install, or rather uninstall and install, new ball joints on this all-wheel drive V8 Explorer. So, stay tuned, and uh, yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe, do all your YouTuber-y things, and we'll see you in another video.